What you're seeing right here is the Andromeda galaxy as seen through a small telescope. I know this doesn't seem much, I know this looks like a blob of light, but hopefully by the end of this video you'll appreciate this blob of light. So let's get started. In this episode of Stargazing Saturdays, let's take a look at Andromeda Galaxy. But first, how do you find Andromeda Galaxy in the sky? If you have a telescope, it would be good. But if you happen to live in a dark place, you can see the Andromeda Galaxy even with your naked eyes. You can use your phone to find the Andromeda Galaxy using star charts that are available. But the easiest way would be to look for the Pegasus constellation. Once you have found the Pegasus constellation, you'll have to look for a star called Mirac. The star lies close to the Pegasus constellation. Once you have found the Mirac star, it's easy. We'll jump from few stars, one star at a time, until we reach the Andromeda galaxy. So try to find the Mirac star using your telescope. Once you have found the Mirac star, we'll jump from that star to the next star and keep on doing this until we reach the Andromeda galaxy. So once you have found Andromeda galaxy, this is what you get to see. The Andromeda galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy, very much similar to our very own Milky Way galaxy. It's at a distance of 2.5 million light years. As a consequence of that, Whenever you look at the Andromeda galaxy, you are seeing it as if it was 2.5 million years ago. This might sound confusing for most of the people out there, but hear me out. This flashlight, when I switch on, when I switch it on, you see the light shining. It seems almost instantaneous. The moment that I press the button and the light coming in, it seems instantaneous but even though it seems instantaneous there is a small delay from me pressing the button and the light traveling from here to there this is because the speed of light is finite and that is why there is a small delay between light traveling from here to there but for small distances this delay is not at all noticeable but when we when we talk in terms of astronomical distances this small delay becomes apparent and that is why you see the sun as it was 8 minutes in the past. The astronomical distance, the distance between the sun and our earth is so large that light takes a solid 8.5 minutes to reach earth from the surface of the sun and as a consequence you see the sun as it is 8 minutes in the past and never do you get to see the sun how it is right now. The speed of light, although it's very fast, it travels at a speed of 3 lakhs kilometers per second and that's very fast. That's fast enough to circle the planet seven and a half times. But the closest star to us, that is the Proxima Centauri, is about four light years from Earth. So whenever you look at Proxima Centauri, you're seeing it as if it was four years in the past. So the Andromeda galaxy is at a distance of 2.5 million light years away. That is like 25 lakh light years. So the light coming from the Andromeda galaxy takes about 2.5 million years to reach Earth. So the light that you see right now is the light that left the galaxy 2.5 million years ago. So you are seeing the galaxy as it was 2.5 million years in the past. So for the photon of light to travel this vast distance for 2.5 million years and hit the retina of your eyes is something mind blowing. That is why every time that I get to see this galaxy, it blows my mind away. It literally gives me goosebumps. <laughs> so that is why this picture of the Andromeda galaxy should give you goosebumps. The time that we are talking about, that is 2.5 million years, when compared to our lifespans, is like an eon. 
Our lifespans are just a tick of a clock in this vast time. Pictures like these of the Andromeda galaxy, these are long exposure photographs of the Andromeda galaxy. So these pictures kind of give you a false sense to maybe like beginners. They think that this is what they get to see when they look through the telescope. And no, our eyes are not sensitive enough to see the galaxy as a whole. All that you get to see is this blob of light. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. So until next time, this is me as Charming Amateur.